now for Henderson off the pads of Justin Sand. That puck spinning in the slot, and here comes a monstrous check by Shea Carey just off the IR, and Henderson jumps on the back of a Titan. Here comes Mike Driscoll on the back of Mike Henderson, and in the far faceoff circle, Tyler Jurich tangled up with Brett Wall. Man, those chain of events spewed very, very quickly. That's Shea Carey coming in. That was a clean check. He opened the ice, and Danbury taking exception to that. Henderson backing up his man as Jarrett Rush being sent to the boxes, and Shea Carey will make his way to Dayton Sinbin. So with 18-15 to go in the first period, both teams sending at least one in the penalty box. Looks like Driscoll will be heading in for Danbury, and Mike Henderson in too, so both teams with two in each box. As Steve Brown comes in, and a glove retrieval. And Mike Lapari in front of the sin bin, talking over Brett Wall and Dean Yakura. Now talking over Jonathan Constantine as the stripes talking over in their crease. Justin Sand in the net, he now has two saves in his Danbury debut. Michael Lapari picks up the loose stick. Like I mentioned, Shea Carey comes in and delivers a licking and things start to untangle from there. Mark spins around, goes for Jacques Lamoureux, back out, Unak in front of the far point, Unak in the slot and score! Martin Unak power play goal! It's Martin Unak in the slot, bouncing it on, but wait a minute. Still have a lot of bodies around the slot. As Unak now pumps up the fans, and Unak makes his way towards the Dayton bench, and the demolition lead one to nothing, a power play goal, and Danbury just had eight seconds left to kill. Martin Unak with a power play goal, he now has 18 goals on the season. That leads the Wrecking Crew's numbers. towards his right, 10 seconds now left on this five on four for the Titans. Blasek in his attacking zone up ahead. There's a shot and score. Dan Laughlin ties it up. He's got a power play goal for the Titans. We're knotted up at one with 14, 24 to go in the first. Dan Laughlin scores his fourth Titan goal, his seventh in the FHL this season. And just like the Dayton power play goal, just like the Dayton power play goal, the demolition just a little bit away from killing it off and Danbury continues to work through it and they get it to go. Face off, center ice. He takes the loose puck. Goes for Marks, he's got them open ice before being met with two Titans in the neutral zone. Through the legs of McCauley, here's Liscom shot and score on the second time. St. Pierre had it the first time. It finds its way back to the Titans and buried on home. Brett Liscum gives Danbury the first lead of the game, two to one. Danbury, three and three quarters now left in the first period. And Liscum scores his 11th goal on the season. Staying right with it as the Titans now lead by one. Back to that's now two unanswered goals by Danbury. And the first full strength goal of the game. Face off center ice, Ryan Patch. Lamoureux looking for Kozlak. Pass intercepted by Yakura to the right of Justin Sand. That puck trickles away from McCauley. Here's Patch, and here comes Marks. And Patch shoots and scores. Patch on a breakaway. Marks unable to get there back in time. And Ryan Patch scores a shorthander goal. And it's now three to one, Titans. That was their largest lead last night. The Titans up by two with 15.59 to go in the second. And 26 seconds remain on Dayton's third power play in the night. And for Danbury, they score their seventh shorthander goal on the season. And Dayton has allowed their eighth on the year. Shorthander goal for the Danbury Titans puts them up by two with 15.59 to go in the second.
And over, looking for Dan Laughlin, open ice. Laughlin secures it at the near boards and finds Jurich up ahead, neutral zone, pulls the emergency break. And here's Laughlin on the bounce, shot and score! Dan Laughlin, he puts it past. Matt Cooper focusing on his left. And Dan Laughlin has scored two goals today. And Danbury with their biggest lead in this weekend. They lead the demolition 4-1 to one with 5.38 to go in the second. And for Dan Laughlin, that is his fifth goal with Danbury and his eighth in the FHL. Some time between the Danbury Titans and the Brewster Bulldogs. Danbury, 17-14 to go in the third period. Now we have Giroux dropping it back. It's Miles McCauley. McCauley looking around, looking to Barry. Pass sand, and he does a goal for the demolition. Sand gives up his second goal tonight as the demolition take it behind his net. And it is now a 4-2 Danbury Titans lead with 17.04 to go in the third. Matt Cooper out of his crease. Gets a fist bump for the five demolition skaters on the ice as the lead chopped down to two. Police line do not cross. I like that touch. Not sure if it's intentional or not. Here comes Marks. His shot trickles wide to the right. He comes in in a hurry and floods one towards Sand. Now Felton going back for Marks. Now met up with a Titan, and we have a broken stick. A Steve Brown and Ryan Timer starting to go hand in hand as Brown continues to push Timer away. Timer, though just a bit shorter than Steve Brown, stand his ground against the longtime Danbury defender, once a captain, the Whalers, as Timer and Brown will get some time to cool off. And Timer heading towards Brown in his box. Ryan Timer, along with Scott Kozlak, part of the coaching staff for the Beaver Creek High School Beavers, who play at the Kettering Rec Center. The Dayton Stealth, the Dayton Hockey Association, doing all they can to keep that arena going. As Timer and Steve Brown go in the box, 244 remains in the third. 4-2, Danbury, your score. Fans, just a reminder, we'll be back live Hopefully my voice will be back 100% as the Dayton Demolition will welcome in the Berlin River Drivers. We'll have the pregame at 7.15 and the puck will fall at 7.30. Listen to us at GemCitySports.com, Radio 2. And you can watch us for $7 on FHL Live by our friends at Point Streak. Just go to FederalHockey.com. You can also find the links at DemolitionHockey.com, the Listen Live link and the Watch Live link. Jacques Lamoureux leans in, Dean Yakura 